gentlemen, let's welcome the first fighter to the cage from Algeria. Give it up for Elias Boudinstam. This one is going to be good. It is Elias Boudinstam. What a big matchup here to kick things off here for Brave 2 Dynasty Soto. This is going to be a special night. Man, Elias Boudinstam, man. He's one of the top prospects. He actually lives in France. Um, when we got this guy, I mean, you, you see him, he's always smiling. You know, it's terrifying. We were at the weigh-ins and we thought, man, is this guy, this guy was just scaring everybody in the crowd. It's like, how can you be so smiley? Wow. <laughs> he's 12 and four. He's an absolute monster and he's only 23 years old. Yeah, you're right though. It is scary that somebody could deal out that sort of punishment and smile the whole way through. <laughs> That's going to make for trouble here in our opening matchup as he takes on Y.L. Watson. What a great way to kick off the main card here for Brave 2 Dynasty. Yeah, he's got a big test in front of him here on the Brave, on the Brave cage. Y.L. Watson is a highly experienced grappler. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome his opponent to the cage. From the United States of America, please welcome Wyatt Watson. It is Wyatt, the gazelle. Watson, 13 and 8, 32 years old. He has been in this game for a while. He's been in there with some of the best in the world. Six submissions. We know that sort of background that he does have coming out of the 10th planet and oh, yeah. what they can do on the ground, it's insane. One of his training partners, Gio Martinez. I mean, his jiu-jitsu game has improved so much over the years. It's incredible. He's a brown belt under Eddie Bravo's um, uh, 10th planet system. Uh, he's showing up here with a huge amount of experience. Um, I know him personally as a friend of mine. Let me tell you, his kickboxing is amazing. Well, yeah, we know how good his stand-up is. We know how good his ground game is. He really doesn't have a whole lot of holes in his game. He's been in there with some of the best, including TJ Dillashaw, which he almost took home that victory. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. A big age difference here. But on the other side of things, the height difference in a big way is going to go to the Gazelle while you're watching. Oh, the Gazelle's got that, that body, and he knows how to use his distance. And that's going to be the key to this fight. He's going to have to stay, keep his distance, and if, uh, if the Algerian comes in here and takes him down, it's going to be a trouble for him. All right, let's send it up to Carlos Kramer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Asalam Halikum. Our next fight is in the featherweight division for three five-minute rounds. Introducing our first fighter, fighting out of the blue corner. This warrior is a jiu-jitsu fighter who holds a professional record of 12 wins and four losses, with 10 of his victories coming by way of submission. He stands 171 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 66.2 kilograms. Fighting out of Montpellier, France, by way of Algeria. Give it up for Elias Smile Boudinstam. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, He's a jiu-jitsu fighter who holds a professional record of 13 wins and eight losses. He stands 180 centimeters tall and weighs in at a ready 65.5 kilograms. From San Diego, California, USA, please welcome YL the Gazelle Watson. And here we go, Mihai Mihalovic will be your referee. It is Wael the Gazelle Watson taking on Elias Budizame. And here we go, don't, round number one. And Elias is coming out of the gate swinging, big right hand. Don't blink in this fight, ladies and gentlemen. There's gonna be 
some slick submissions on Wales' side. Elias is also a very, very skilled ground guy. There's Wael using that distance. You know, he studies boxers. Those are the heroes that he loves to watch. And he's going to try oh, to pull a guard that here. Guard pulling. <laughs> Wael, no he knows. surprise. Yeah, Elias knows he doesn't want any of that. Good. Oh, look at the nice handwork, the footwork by the gazelle. He's keeping that really good distance. Wael's got to be patient in this fight. Budishdame pushing him up against the fence, trying to neutralize the, the quick hands and the quick feet of the gazelle. They call him the gazelle for a reason. Oh, we have a groin shot. And we have an unintentional groin shot there by Budishdame. And now Watson has up to five minutes if he should need it to recover. And uh, he's, he's certainly feeling it right now. Yeah. You can tell by those facial expressions. Yeah. Kicking things off here and and no, didn't waste any time. Oh yeah, he's ready, he's ready. Don't yeah. blink, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, this fight he's got. Wow. Has a highlight Great. reel written all over it. Beautiful. Wael's already working on that, his submission skills. Oh, but he's grabbing a hold of that arm. So no, could he be in trouble? He's not letting go of it. Wow. Really good takedown. He's being very aggressive with that arm. Ludix Dame in a great spot. We're seeing the grappling skills of Wyo Watson, the defense. Really good defense there. Oh, oh no, that's it. And that is going to be it. Wow. Ludix Dame wow. takes out Wyo Watson. He taps Incredible. him out, and nobody saw it coming. But I bet you Budix Dame did. Oh, wow. That was impressive. He caught him early. He saw that opening and he really cranked on it. Huge win for Elias. Humongous win. Taking down a veteran. Oh, you're absolutely right. And I didn't see that coming. I mean, right at the gate, it looked like the stand up was going to go to Bugazame. Then Wael answers back. Wow. And I think we both thought, just with the credentials that Wael has, yep. that he was going to be the one with the ground game and the submission. Right. And just like that. He caught him right here. He goes in for that single leg and just sees an opening. An impressive victory. Let's take a look at the replay. And it all started off with that big takedown. You can see how strong he is, too. Elias is very, you know, you can't really tell he's strong. Right there, he gets an opening. Wyo really smartly flips right over. But there it is. It's over When he right grabbed there. a hold of that arm, it was an absolute oh, wrap. Oh, wow. Even with that flip and that attempt to get out of it, yeah. he just could not get out of the grasp right. of Budich Dame. That could be a uh, submission of the night. That has it written all over it. Yes. Wow. Now, can you imagine Elias Budich Dame versus Alex Da Silva? Wow. Uh, I'd watch it. I'd watch it. Let's go <laughs> to the official decision. We have our winner at one minute and 47 seconds of the very first round by submission, Keylock. Give it up for our man, Elias Boot. Bahrain, don't go anywhere.